After years of not really doing it much, I decided to come back onto reading and it really, really changed my vision, my point of view on so many topics. Here's what happened. As part of the 12 challenges for the month of April, we spent every day of the month reading pages of a book. We had to read at least 30 pages from a book of choice, which compared to some other challenges, it might just feel a little bit too easy. But it's definitely so much easier not to read anything at all. And here the challenging part is just doing it every day. There are so many days in which we are a bit tired, we have a pretty good excuse not to do it. But here the challenge was about doing it every day, no matter what. I used to read a lot when I was a kid. My mother is a, is a teacher, so she like kind of put me into this mood of reading since I was pretty young. I used to read every day a lot of books, but then since high school I started reading less and less because I was busy with studying, I was doing other stuff, sport, so I ended up not reading much. This month changed my vision, my life under a lot of points of view. It changed completely the way I invest my money, it changed the way I deal with people and it really taught me a lot about many different topics. My picks for the month have been The Intelligent Investor by Graham, How to Win Friends and Influence People from Carnegie, The 48 Laws of Power from Robert Greene and Capital from Thomas Piketty. The Intelligent Investor is a book written in 1949, is about investing your money into the stock market. As a result of reading this book, I completely changed my way of investing and really for the better. It was extremely satisfying to be reading this book, it was so logical, it really made sense throughout the whole book and I'm very happy that I read it. How to win friends and influence people is a pillar of a relationship between humans, also salesmanship. It doesn't really contain any particular trick or tip or anything unheard of. It's just like a common principle but just explained easily with examples that really strike you and stay in your mind so that you can apply them when you actually need them. The 48 Laws of Power I didn't really like the book, 100 pages in, I was like, you know what, <laughs> this book is not really for me, it's not the content that I was expecting, and I just left it. Capital was an extremely interesting book about macroeconomy, about politics in uh, Europe, I would say for the last 100 years, 150 years, extremely interesting. A lot of information, quite different from the fields of knowledge that I'm used to, that I've studied. Extremely interesting, extremely informative. When reading you realize how you can get the knowledge of other people in their field of expertise. By reading a couple hundred pages on a book, you can really see and absorb the knowledge of someone else, of a lifetime of studies on a particular topic, and you can just benefit of that. By learning so much in such a small period of time, I really regret the years that I spent without reading and I thought how much would I know if I spent those years just reading a couple of pages every day. Reading every day was great because it really created that kind of habit of finding some time throughout the day where you will be focusing and spending your time on reading. I really try to keep reading as much as I can. I really appreciated the power of reading and I will make sure that I have a time in my day where I just spend it reading and getting some knowledge from other people about their topic of expertise. Next month is gonna be Rise and Shine, wake up every day at 5.30, it's gonna be a very tough, very interesting month. Hope you're gonna be following us, thank you for watching, see you next time. Extremely interesting, esteem, extremely, extreme, 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 extremely, extreme, extreme, extremely, very interesting.